Okay, first I'm going to make another function, call it in function 2. Uh, in my main function, I'll declare integer x is 15, y is 6, and z is 11. Now, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, I want to change these, I want to change these variables. I want to do what I did last time. I want to start, I want to change these, but you guys will understand what pointers actually, the purpose of pointers and how to use them. I'm just going to make another new num integer. Uh, and I'm going to make this new num equal the call of function 2. And I'm going to pass, I'm going to pass x, y, and z. Basically what I'm doing is I'm making whatever the product of function 2 is equal to new num. Uh, we've done this before, so nothing new. So I'm going to accept the following values, int x, int y, int z. Now basically, I'll give you a little intro to pointers. Uh, pointers actually can change the value of a variable regardless of where it is. Regardless of which um, function is calling it, regardless of where which function it's in, regardless of where the variable was first created and where the function is being changed at. You can make, what I'm doing right now is I'm making variables in the main function and I'm going to try to manipulate and change them in the function too. So, I'm trying, first I'm going to try to get you guys to understand that um, when you, we're passing the function 2, x, y, and z, that we're not passing the real values. We're passing copies of the value. We're passing it into function 2 and we're manipulating those copied values and we're spitting back not spitting back the, the manipulated and changed values we're just we're using whatever values were created in the uh, main function so I'm going to do um, x is equal to x uh, plus 5 y is equal to 15 minus y and z is equal to 44 times z so I'm going to try to change these variables right instead of function 2 you want to see if Main will print uh, will print the new variables. We'll print the change variables. Okay, I'm gonna declare an in sum inside of function two. I'm gonna make that the product of, or sorry, the whatever, the sum of x, y, and z, and then I return the sum. Let's return the sum here. Basically, I want to change x, y, and z um, without using my method of pointers, and we'll see if it prints out. And you guys will understand why it won't print out, but I'm going to go over anyways. Okay, so I made new num. Okay, new num is equal to x, y, and z. I'm passing that uh, using function 2 to function 2. I'm calling it the same thing, x, y, and z. So I'm going to do a printf to determine if it will print out the new values. So I'm going to do a printf. I'll do a percent %d. Oh, sorry, I'll print out the new number, percent %d. I'll do the three more percent Ds for the X, Y, and Z. Okay, the new X value, uh, new Y value, and the new Z value. So I'll do closing brackets, close those quotations, comma, new num, X, Y, and Z. I want to see if it prints out 15, 6, and 11, or if it prints out the new values. So let's just determine it right now. I made it in a new compiler. I changed some stuff up and made it foo instead. I'm just compile this right now. And what do you know? You get new numbers 513, you get x is 15, y is 6, and z is 11. Those values did not change. Those are the exact same values as before. Why is that? We changed it. No, no. In order to do that, we have to use pointers. So, now that you know why we need pointers, if we're going to manipulate and change values, we can't be using all these return statements to return the actual new value. We have to use pointers instead. That is, in fact, a way of returning a value without using a return statement. You don't use one return statement per method is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm going to change this up to use in order to um, make it print out those new values, not the uh, previous values of 15, 6, and 11. I want to print out new values. I want to print out the values that changed. I want to print out 20. I want to print out 9 and whatever this is, uh, 44 times Z is. I don't know what that is. But I'm going to print out that new value. Okay, when I'm sending these three values, X, Y, and Z, I'm sending... Uh, copies of these values. I'm not sending the actual address of these values. In order to send the address of these values, I'm going to have to, um, well, let's do a scanf example. When I'm using percent %d for scanf, I'm using the ampersand, which basically notates where uh, that percent %d is going to. Uh, once I put the variables where it's going to next, it gets the actual address. So if I do uh, an ampersand there, 
it will find what address that bearer is at, and I'm going to change it to whatever the user inputs using the percent %d. But that ampersand basically says, grabs where that address is, and then it attaches it itself to the uh, variable name. So whatever you want to change with that variable, it will attach itself using the ampersand. The ampersand notates it. If you didn't have the ampersand there, it wouldn't go anywhere. It would just be floating mid space in space, and nothing would happen to it. That's why it's very essential to use, uh, very essential to use uh, the ampersand. Now, with int x, y, and z, uh, basically what's happening here is these are native to the function main. So I create these in main. Um, whenever I'm printing them out uh, over here, it basically just Notates, notates itself back to the main function because it has nowhere to go, it has nowhere to notate to. Um, in this case, I have x is equal to 5 plus x. I'm not changing the actual location of x, I'm changing just the copy of x. Um, same thing with y and z, I'm just doing a copy, changing the copy of z and y. So, in order to um, I'll replicate it in my scanf, I'll do an ampersand x in order to notate the actual address of x. Okay, I'm using the actual address of x. I'm going to change, I'm going to actually change x, the real x, not the copy of x, the real x. So I'm sending the real x to function 2 for it to be changed. Okay, so I'll notate the x, I'll notate the y, and I'll notate the z. And then, where does that throw me to? Well, it throws me to the int function 2. It throws me those three variables, right? The real variables, the actual the actual um, address of those variables inside of the computer, the binary address, whether it be whatever it is, not not binary, but it's a number, a particular number, it could be 2020, whatever it is, it'll find that address, and it'll send the variable at that address to whatever I want it to send to. I'm sending it to function two. Um, if it's not there, then that percent is not there, not existent. I'm sending a copy. I'm not sending the actual real variable. So, okay, I'm going to go to function 2 over here. And, okay, in order to um, accept it, I have to use an asterisk. It's, okay, if you look at new, uh, function 2, right, I'm using the ampersand. That basically starts the, um, it starts the sending of it. It starts the sending of the real, it's like an editing process. I'm finding where it's located at, notating it with using the ampersand, and I'm ending it. I'm ending where I want it to go using the asterisk. For receiving it, it's the asterisk. For sending it out, basically, of a native function, um, x is native to main. I'm sending it to somewhere else. Since it's in the main function, I'm use ampersand. In the function 2, right, I have to use asterisk. Because I'm accepting something from a native function. I'm, accept I'm accepting a variable as part of a native function using the ampersand. Okay? And asterisk is used to accept it. So I'm going to do the same thing with y and z since I'm sending y and z Okay, I'm accepting it. Remember, I'm accepting it, so I'm using um, the asterisk sign. Okay, these are the real values. The real values of x, the real value of y, and the real value of z. These are the real legit values. I'm not accepting copies this time. So in order to change those values, I'm not using x, I'm not using y, I'm not using z. I'm actually using the um, the real values, and I'm not using copies. Okay, I'm actually passed over the asterisk, so I have to pass over the same thing. As you see over here, I'm doing uh, 44 times z. Uh, don't get this confused. Asterisk on the left side of the z this time, so it won't confuse it as a multiplication. Number one is to the left, and number one is right beside it, so it's interpreted as a um, pointer. It's not interpreted as a multiplication sign. Um, in order to change the sum, I can use x, y, and z again. I've used x, y, and z pointed because I'm not using copies. Remember, without the um, asterisks, they're just copies. They're just copies of whatever I had before. I understand, like in text, it's just a copy. I could have done that if I wanted to use in text. I have to redeclare it. I can't use in text anymore because it's not there. Int asterisk x is completely different. It's completely different than in text. Just want you guys to get that through your mind. Okay, I'm printing this out as well. You don't have to do the asterisk for this. Um, because I'm actually changing the address, so it has a new address, and it's in the native function of x, y, and z. So there's no reason for me to do that. Uh, this is basically the basis of it. I'm going to do a compile over here.
Let's compile it into a different program. I'm going to show you what I did. Uh, we have a different function of foo, same type of thing. Passed x, y, and z using the ampersand. x, y, and z is the native function there. 15, 6, and 11. Same values. And uh, if you look below the print statement, it's exact same as before. In the info, I have the asterisk and then the variable number, variable name, sorry. I'm printing it out now. Let's test if this actually works. So the initial value of x is 15, y is 6, z is 11. As you recall from before, we actually printed out those same values before we showed you pointers. Showed you pointers, so let's see what happens uh, with the change values. I'm going to do a pr uh, quick compile. Here we go. There we go. The new number. New number is what? Whatever the new number is, x is 20, right? y is 9, and z is 404. 